everyone in this video we shall learn about chain rule chain rule is a very important rule in calculus and it is a rule to differentiate composite functions examples of composite functions are 2x plus 1 the whole cube sin x square sin of cos of x square so in all these function one function is inside the other function and to differentiate such functions we use chain rule the chain rule states that the derivative of f of g of x, that's how we represent composite functions, g of x is inside f of x, is f dash gx times g dash x. So we first differentiate the outer portion of the function, keep the inside the same and multiply it by the derivative of the inside function. Let's understand this better with a few examples. 1 equals to 2x plus 1 raised to the power of 3. Let's differentiate it with respect to x on both sides. So d by dx of y equals to d by dx of 2x plus 1 the whole cubed. Now we're going to use this rule that is if the function is in this form the derivative is n times x to the power of n minus 1. Here x is 2x plus 1. So that would be 3 times 2x plus 1 square. We will keep the inside function as it is. Times d by dx of the inside function which is 2x plus 1. Now we will differentiate 2x plus 1. This would be 2 and this would be 0 because derivative of a constant is 0. dy by dx equals to 3 times 2x plus 1 whole square times 2. 3 times 2 is 6. So the derivative is 6 times 2x plus 1 the whole squared. y equals to tan 2x plus 3. Again this is a composite function. There is a trigonometric function and there is a linear function. So first we will differentiate the outer function. For tan x the derivative is secant squared x. So dy by dx would be secant squared 2x plus 3, the inside function remains as it is, times derivative of 2x plus 3. That equals to secant square 2x plus 3 times 2. So the final answer is 2 secant square 2x plus 3. So first differentiate the outer portion of the function, keep the inside the same, okay, and multiply it by the derivative of the inside function. That's it y equals to sin x squared. Derivative of sin x is cos x. So cos x squared and derivative of x squared is 2x. Cos x squared times 2x which is 2x cos x squared. The next one is y equals to sin of cos of x squared. So d by dx of y equals to d by dx of sin of cos of x squared. The outer function is sine. So that would be cos of inside function remains as it is cos x squared times dy dx of cos x squared. Again we will use the chain rule to differentiate this. So that would be equal to cos of cos x squared derivative of cos x is minus sine x that is minus sine and x here is x squared times d by dx of x squared. That equals to cos of cos x squared times minus sine x squared times 2x. This can be written as minus 2x sine x squared cos of cos x squared. I hope this is clear to all. Thank you.